Meeting call to order. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Here. Councilmember Chapman. Here. Councilmember Clayton. Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Here. Mayor Moore. Here. Please stand for a silent prayer, moment of reflection. I know this We will now salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, PL 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice is forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the poster, and the Star Ledger on January 3rd, 2023, and posted on the bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the city clerk. We're now on to special events applications. Good evening, Mayor and Council. The only application before you this evening is for the downtown manure, manure lighting on uh, December 11th. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you. We're now into matters from City Council. Council Member Bez Anderson. The only thing that I would like to say to everyone is uh, to wish you all a very happy and safe holiday. And um, to be thankful this holiday is to be with family and friends, people that you love. So I hope that you all enjoy and uh, don't eat too much turkey. So happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Councilmember Chapman. I also want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving and to remind everyone that we have some upcoming tree lightings on our calendar. There's a tree lighting in Fireman's Park on Friday, December 1st. Uh, there's a tree lighting downtown on Saturday, December 2nd. We have a Kwanzaa celebration on December 9th, followed by a tree lighting in Springwood Park on December 9th as well. Um, so I hope everyone enjoys their holidays. Uh, stay safe. Thank you. Councilmember Clayton. Thank you. I also want to repeat best wishes for a wonderful and warm and happy Thanksgiving with you, your family, and friends. Thank you. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Nothing. Mayor Moore. I echo everybody else. Uh, safe and happy Thanksgiving to all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next up, we have a public hearing for proposed sewer connection fee increases. We have a brief overview by our city attorney, Frederick Raffetto. Yes, I'd like to uh, ask the city's auditor, David Gannon, to please come forward and join us. At this point on the agenda, we are now going to proceed with a public hearing as required by state statute and city code regarding proposed increases to the sewer connection fees that are charged by the city for each new connection of property to the sewer system. With me this evening are the city's chief financial officer, Joanne Boos, along with the city's auditor, David Gannon, who is seated next to me. I'm going to ask Mr. Gannon to place some brief testimony on the record before we open up the public hearing. Mr. Gannon, would you please raise your right hand so that I can swear you in? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Please state your name for the record and spell your last. David Gannon, G-A-N-N-O-N. -N Mr. Gannon, what is your professional title? I'm a partner and a certified public accountant, as well as a registered municipal accountant. And do you hold any licenses or certifications in the state of New Jersey? I'm licensed by the state of New Jersey as a certified public accountant, as well as a registered municipal accountant. And with whom are you employed? I'm a partner at PKF O'Connor Davis. Has your firm been retained by the city of Asbury Park to perform auditing services? Yes, it has. And as part of your responsibilities for the city, does your firm perform a recomputing of the connection fees to be charged to new users of the city sewerage system when requested by the city? Yes, we do. And has your firm performed such a recomputation recently? Yes, we have. Before we get into the actual computation, can you kindly explain to the public what the purpose of a connection fee is? So the connection fee captures the historical cost of building the city's sewer infrastructure uh, and brings the new connectors of the system uh, in line with those that have been uh, connected to the system and funding the improvements of the system. Uh, simply put, it, it puts kind of a level playing field between existing users and new users uh, so that they're, you know, the new users are not are enjoying the benefits of the city's infrastructure 
have been the course, the costs have been borne by those that have lived within the city all that time. And are there different connection fee amounts depending upon the type of property involved? Yes. However, the law requires that the connection charges have a uniform within each class of user and that the amount thereof shall not exceed the actual cost of the physical connection, plus an amount representing a fair payment towards the cost of the system. How many different classes of properties are there in Asbury Park? There are three different property classes. Class one constitutes residential property. Class two represents uh, hotel or motel uh, units. And class three constitutes non-residential general. And what were the prior sewer connection fees charged by the city for each of those classes? The prior calculation yielded a connection fee for residential of 5,904. Uh, for hotel or motel, or class two was 2,952. And class three non-residential was previously $31.98 per gallon uh, with a minimum of $5,904 per connection fee per unit. And can you please describe the recomputation that was performed recently? Sure, the recomputation consists of an analysis of uh, capital costs. So taking the historical costs that have been calculated through the last time the connection fee was performed, uh, reviewing the capital costs, which include debt service and direct capital expenditures for the in infrastructure, uh, less any grant funded type expenditures, those would not be included in the calculation. And that becomes the capital base of the calculation. We then also receive uh, data from the water utility on consumption. And from that, we determine the number of units within the city, as well as the average gallons per unit. And the, two of the, the combination of those two analysis form the basis of the computation. As a result of that recomputation, what are the proposed new connection fee rates that your firm is recommending for each class of users in the city of Asbury Park? So re we're recommending based on the computation that was performed for class one residential, an increase from $5,904 to $7,163 per unit. Uh, we're also recommending for class two or hotel or motel, uh, an increase from $2,952 to $3,581 per guest room. Finally, we're recommending a sewer connection fee for class three or non-residential uh, from $31.98 to $35 a gallon with a minimum connection fee of from $5,904 to $7,163. And do you believe that the proposed new connection fee amount shall be uniform within each class of users? Yes. And do you also believe that the proposed sewer connection fee increases shall otherwise comply with all statutory requirements? Yes. Finally, as the city's auditor, is it your recommendation that the city adopt these new connection fee amounts and apply them to all new customers who connect to the sewers, the city's sewerage system? Yes, I do. I have no further questions of Mr. Gannon. Do any members of the council have any questions before we open it up to the public? I just have one question. Could you repeat the uh, residential? the increase? Yeah, so it was, it's going from the proposed number uh, dollar amount is $5,904 to $7,163. Thank you. So Fred, I don't know if this is the time, but I emailed Donna, we're not doing these sewer connection fees for affordable ADUs. So that'll be part of the ordinance, which okay. will um, exempt them. Okay. Which will be fine at that time. The affordable. May I have a motion to open up the public hearing? Move it. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing on the proposed sewer connection fee increase is now open. If any member of the public would like to speak, please use the microphone, state your name and address for the record, and your comments may be, regard may be regarding the sewer connection fee increase only. Do any members of the public have any questions for Mr. Gannon or would like to make any comments to the mayor and council regarding the proposed new sewer connection fees? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Public hearing on the proposed sewer connection fee increase is now closed. Okay, there is a resolution later on on the agenda during the uh, public portion when you're doing your resolutions generally that will um, you'll be voting on to actually um, approve the increases that Mr. Gannon just testified to. Okay. Thank you. We're now on to public participation. May I have a motion to open the meeting to the public? Move it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Public participation portion is now open. Any member of the public who wishes to speak, please use the microphone, state your name and address for the record. And there will be a three minute time limit for each speaker. Uh, the, the back there, sir. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I going to the back of the room? <laughs> That's what it means. Uh, my name is Dr. Sam Gallucci. John, how are you? Good, sir. My property's at 316 7th Avenue in Asbury Park. I didn't expect to see so many women on the council, but glad to see you all. I have two major issues that I'm going to be confronting on a public matter or a legal matter. One is this accelerated property tax, which I think is really harmful to the citizens of, of Asbury Park, you represent us, you're supposed to do what's beneficial for us. We're in a, what we call a recession. More people than in the last 10 years are behind on their mortgages. We're dealing with high inflation, we're dealing with high costs. And in New Jersey, a large portion of our population has lost their job because of the cutbacks of corporate America. So, why do we need an accelerated property tax that is due by November 10th, I guess? I pay it online through Bank of America. If I pay it the 1st of November, you don't even process it till after the 10th. Then I get this notice of a tax sale. It just happened again with the sewer bill. I sent it ahead of time, but by the time it goes from Bank of America in the mail to Asbury Park, you get it in your office, you process it, I'm over the deadline. So I would ask the council, in light of this holiday season when people are stressed out, paying bills, paying mortgages, which they can't afford anymore, and higher property taxes, make the date a month later. Give us time to get the money in and have you process it. A lot of this has to do not with sending the money in. It has to do with it getting from the bank to Asbury Park. And then by the time you process it, we're over the date. So either eliminate this accelerated property tax in total, because I have property in five other towns in New Jersey. None of them have this. Or push the date a month out to December 10th or 15th to give the folks a break. So how many are in favor of doing that? Why, why wouldn't you want to do that? I think you should go on to your second question because you got three minutes. Okay. okay. And then the last thing is the property tax increase. There's no reason for it. You need to put zero-based budgeting. I get an email saying that my property is now valued over a million bucks. Well, I haven't got a single realtor or individual telling me that they buy my property for a million dollars. I get calls all the time, but yet I get a, a call or an email from Mike Del Rey in a letter, your property's going up. It's ridiculous. It's called zero-based budgeting. You need to manage the budget. You have more revenue than you've ever had before in the town of Asbury Park. Okay. How's it being managed? Okay. And that's all I have to say, because I'm going to get a coalition, and I'm giving my phone number, 908-421-3359. I'm starting okay, a coalition up, for the Intelligent Management in Asbury Doctor, Park. Doctor, your time is up. And we will take action. Doctor, your time is up. Thank no, you. My, my time is up. Okay. Your time could be up shortly, too. No problem, sir. Thank you. Anybody else like to speak? Ask questions? Seeing none, motion to close. Are you talking about anything? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yep. Great. Um, I thought there was like an agenda that you saw. No, nope. um, I'm just going to ask you to Okay. So I'm going to start. Okay. Uh, my name is Lauren. I live at 213 2nd Avenue. I'm here to talk about, um, unfortunately, I can't really pronounce it, the K. Hovnanian, Baltic, and Egan at. Um, Berg and Second Ave. Mm -hmm. um, I received a letter from them just letting me know that they were looking to do something with Lot 4, I guess a staging area. Um, and I'm just concerned since I've now seen them on the other two lots for the past six months, just like um, hauling away dirt with dump trucks, like laying concrete, like normal construction things. Like I've understood that's part of the process. It's a new Asbury, it's a new uh, place in town, but 
why like another place? Like I'm just confused why this wasn't part of the normal like set of constructions. Like where did this come from? Um, it's just really concerning. I just feel like I'm gonna just live in construction zone for the next year. Um, and like, where's my benefit? Like I just burden this and have to live with it and deal with it. And now they wanna do more. And I've already dealt with like foundation drilling, my apartment shaking. Um, I unfortunately have a west facing apartment. Um, and it's just, it's really stressful. I work from home, I can't get work done. Um, I just, I don't even know what like a staging area is. Um, and it just, it kind of concerned me that um, they had to install like more chain link fences into the ground and uh, just more kind of like drilling and ground shaking and more trucks. Like, so where, like, why wasn't this part of the normal thing? Or why is it just getting started now? Like, um, those are just my concerns. Thanks. Hey, Donna, you want to address it? So this is part of um, the application that KHA presented to the council. They need to stage their equipment for their construction and they have requested that location. The council um, asked that they send letters to all the residents in the area to get their feedback to see if there were any concerns about this. Um, I believe you and one other person um, responded to the mayor and council and to our planner, Michelle, indicating um, a concern. Those are the only people that we heard from. Um, and, and I understand your concern. I mean, unfortunately, um, construction is happening throughout the city. We have the other project over on Lake Avenue. Um, you know, I can tell you they can't start before eight o'clock. So if that does happen, please call us and we can certainly make sure they don't do that. They have to be done by six o'clock as well. And they can't do construction on Sundays, right? Correct. And, and the lot that they're using is just for storage of material for the where they're building the two buildings. It's Correct. Not, it's a staging area. It's not going to be able to construct. They're going to put their equipment. They have to like install a fence. Yeah, because yeah. they, they have to keep it so it's not people can walk onto the property. Yeah. Okay. Right. And if I have any other questions, I can email. Yeah, absolutely. Michelle? Yeah, I'm Donna, but you can email okay. me or Michelle, absolutely. And you should have gotten that in the letter that you've gotten. Yeah, I got one for the wrong apartment, so it's okay. Well, thank you. Thanks. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public participation portion is now closed. We're now on to the minutes. I have the executive meeting minutes and regular meeting minutes of the November 8th meeting. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Council Member Bez Anderson. Here. Count um, for. Um, Meeting yes minutes. Or no. Oh, excuse me. I'm That's sorry. okay. Yes. November 8th meeting minutes. Thank you. Um, Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. We're now on to consent agenda resolutions. All matters listed on consent agenda are presented yeah. collectively to City Council and will be considered for approval with one vote. These matters are considered to be routine in nature and there will be no individual discussion of these items. If discussion is desired by one or more council members as to any particular item, then said item shall be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. On consent agenda, tonight we have resolutions 2023-519 through 2023-522. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Councilmember Vez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. We're now on to individual resolutions. Uh, resolution 2023-523. Resolution approving payment of bills. Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Resolution 2023-524, resolution to establish a new sewer rate schedule, connection fees, within the city of Asbury Park, pursuant to NJSA 40A colon 26A-11 and city code section 18-5.6. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. This is resolution 2023-514, resolution of the mayor and city council of the city of Asbury Park to authorize construction staging for K. Hobnanian Holdings NJ LLC on block 4003, lot four and block 3901, lots two and three for the development of property located at block 4003, lots one, two, and 16, and block 4003, lots 12, 13, and 14. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Council member Bez Anderson. No. Council member Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. 
Resolution 2023-525. Resolution approving change order number two for the new fire department headquarters. Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. No. Mayor Moore. No. Resolution 2023-526, resolution rescinding resolution 2023-394 and authorizing the use of funds designated for the city of Asbury Park from the fiscal year 2024 Asbury Park Urban Enterprise Zone Fund for the Asbury Park Administration Budget fiscal year 24. Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Uh, resolution 2023-527 has been removed from tonight's agenda. We do have an addition to tonight's agenda. It will be resolution 2023-528. Resolution authorizing the City of Asbury Park to execute an estoppel certificate and recognition agreement relating to the property located at 521 Lake Avenue, Block 3105, Lot 4.02. Do I have a motion? Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Uh, no. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. Okay. We are now on to ordinances. I have second reading public hearing. Ordinance 2023-38. Ordinance of the City of Asbury Park amending and supplementing, supplementing section 8-11 entitled rates, display of rates required of chapter 8, taxi cabs, liveries, and valet parking of the code of the City of Asbury Park. Um, brief update. Uh, this ordinance updates the taxi rates that haven't been increased in many years. Um, I have a motion to open up the public hearing on ordinance 2023-38. Move to open. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing on ordinance 2023-38 is now open. Any member of the public who wishes to speak, please use the microphone and state your name and address for the record. Again, your comments may be regarding ordinance 2023-38 only. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-38 is now closed. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 2023-38? Move to adopt. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. We're now into Ordinance 2023-40, Ordinance of the City of Asbury Park amending and supplementing Section 12-1 entitled State Uniform Construction Code Enforcing Agency of Chapter 12, Building and Construction of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. Donna, would you be able to provide a brief overview? Certainly, Lisa. This ordinance updates the construction fees that are charged by construction department at the uh, analysis and request of our construction official. Thank you. Um, I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2023-40. Move to open. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-40 is now open. Any member of the public wishes to speak? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-40 is now closed. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 2023-40? Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. We're now on to Ordinance 2023-41, Ordinance of the City of Asbury Park, establishing a new section 3-11 to be known as Public Parks within Chapter 3, Police Regulations of the Code of the City of Asbury Park. Fred, will you be able to provide a brief overview? Yes, uh, this ordinance establishes the hours of operation for all of the parks within the city. Um, basically, the parks will be open um, from sunrise through sunset, which obviously will differ depending upon the time of the year. Um, it will not affect the ability of members of the public to walk through the park on paths that run through the park. However, um, individuals are not uh, supposed to remain within the parks outside of the regular operating hours, which again are between sunrise and sunset. Thank you. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2023-41? Move to open. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-41 is now open. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-41 is now closed. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 2023-41? Move it. Second. Second. Council Member Bez Anderson. Yes. Council Member Chapman. Yes. Council Member Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. 
Ordinance 2023-42, Ordinance Amending and Supplementing Chapter 20, entitled, entitled Environmental Regulations of the Code of the City of Asbury Park, to establish a new section thereof to be known as 20-5, Privately Owned Salt Storage. John, would you be able yeah, to provide a brief This ordinance is required by the state to regulate privately owned salt storage facilities. Thank you. May I have a motion to open the public hearing on Ordinance 2023-42? Move to open. Second. All in favor? Aye. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-42 is now open. Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public hearing on Ordinance 2023-42 is now closed. May I have a motion to adopt Ordinance 2023-42? Move it. Second. Councilmember Bez Anderson. Yes. Councilmember Chapman. Yes. Councilmember Clayton. Yes. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Yes. Mayor Moore. Yes. If no one has anything else, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Thank you, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.